Lock it on to the best station on the net. Kansas City Online Radio. Living Room Blues. Around the planet on the World Wide Web. John Van Lent. Streaming 24-7. Internet Radio. Hey, blues lovers. This is Dutchy DJ John Van Lent on Kansas City Online Radio. To give you your weekly doses of Living Room Blues. And you're more than welcome. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride! Well, dear listeners, you know, once in a while I do a special here in Living Room Blues. And this time I'm going to do a special with A.G. and the Wild Grooves. And you heard from their album, uh, Let Go or Be Dragged, More to Lose. Hello, A.G. It's nice to have you here in the show, Living Room Blues. 
Well, thank you, John. It's very nice to be in your show. And of course, we like to know something of the band after hearing the first record I played of you lot. What can you tell us about the band? We uh, come from the west coast of Holland, uh, from a little fisherman's town called Katwijk aan Zee. Uh, we were playing um, 2012. We were playing as a threesome, and we were asked to do a gig in in a very big venue in Katwijk. I knew the place and I knew it was a big venue. So uh, I talked to the guys. I talked to Paul, the guitar player, and to Klaas, the rhythm guitar player. I said, listen, guys, this is a huge venue. There's going to be a thousand people in there. So why don't we look around and see if we can find some guys like a bass player. Uh, sorry. Yeah, bass player, drummer. I knew this blue blues harp guy. So I made some phone calls and, uh, well, everybody was excited. Like, yeah, why not? Let's do it. So we did the gig and everybody was feeling, uh, well, I don't know, feeling high and uh, happy. And uh, after the gig, everybody was like, yes, 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 we uh, we should do this some more. So that's when the whole thing started rolling, I guess. Yeah, and I uh, have seen you play uh, live uh, several times now. And uh, I must say, it is terrific. Let's hear some more of this great band, AG and the Wild Grooves, and one of my favorites, Calling You King. Now I wanna hold you in my arms, baby 
Hearing this, I think everybody understands that this is one of the favorites of the audience as well. Well, you're not so tall, uh, AG. Hmm. Tell me, what's the reaction here in the Netherlands when you go on stage? We walk into the venue and I see the people looking at me and the, I can tell by the look on their faces like, okay, what's this little girl going to do? And then we start playing and uh, I can see those mouths like, huh? And that's that's really funny. I mean, and that's in a positive way. And then later, from what I can see and what I can hear, the people, they just like it. And by the reactions, uh, they, ask, they ask you questions and... And then after the show, that we sell a lot of CDs, so I guess they like it a lot. And as it happens, now we, uh, I often have to sign a CD, and in the beginning it was really funny. I was like, huh, sign a CD? But now I'm getting used to it a bit, and I think, I think it's an honor. How many gigs a year do you do? Uh, I guess around 40, 50 gigs, but you know... We uh, we work hard to, to, to do some more gigs and we were trying to play more often at festivals because that's, that's really nice. I mean, you meet a lot of bands and you can watch these bands and they're sometimes, uh, you know, there are some familiar uh, bands, you know, big names and it's, it's always ni nice to meet and talk with these guys because they're so experienced and uh, they got great stories. They always have great stories, and that's what I like about the festivals. That you're uh, f crazy of uh, festivals is something you can see on stage. That's why I called you at the time a real podium beast. Well, what we like is your music. So uh, let's go over and have some more of your music. And that's why I'm playing Crazy For You. <laughs> Touch me, oh 